Welcome back to Tim's Inevitable Demise. This is episode 16, and I said I was going to go to the nether this time, but I realised I have 12 arrows, and it kind of defies the point of going to the nether if you have, um, of rather, making sure you have a bow to go to the nether with if you've only got 12 arrows. So I want to try and kill some chickens first for some feathers so that I can make more um, those arrows yeah so I can make more arrows um, granted I've got no idea how low I am I don't think I'm too low no not too far down although it does seem like there's a thunderstorm outside in the game obviously not in real life in real life it's sunny all the time because I'm in a great uh, a country with great weather and that is of course Britain which is a country obviously it's not and We'll just head our way slowly out, and this is the best way to do it, if anybody didn't know. Um, if anything falls on you, the torch stops it from killing you. Also, it means that when you dig up, you can actually see, which is, you know, slight bonuses. Although, I mean, I can see the placing, but I'm assuming nobody on the video can. That's usually how it works. Uh, can't be too many more of this. I'm hearing zombies. I hoping they're not on the outside. I'm hoping they're in that dungeon somewhere. Of course it's clearly raining outside. Oh no, we got more to go. How high are we? 78. We should have got out by now. We're going up a hill. Oh yeah, we dug into a hill, didn't we? Uh, okay, this could take a while. I'm hoping it doesn't. Naturally. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we're right at the top of the hill. Okay, so what I think we want to do is we want to go to... Oh, is that the bit I dug in? I think I think that bit down there is where I dug in. Um, right, what I think we want to do is we want to go to the jungle. I'm assuming it's daytime, but I will just try to sleep. Oh no, it's night, okay. It's very bright. Alright, now it's daytime. Uh, we will head towards the jungle to try and find some um, chickens, because that seems to be a good spot for chickens. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay. Apparently I suck at dealing with those. Yeah, we'll try and just... Oh, that's an Enderman. Are you after me? You seem to be cool. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll head towards the jungle, try and find some chickens. And with any luck, be able to go to the nether this episode. Um, and then with any luck, we'll spawn near a fortress that I don't then get myself fucked over in. You know, the little things, you know. Um, and if we can find a chest with um, diamonds in, then we can sort out the enchantments. If we find a chest with horse armor in, it wouldn't help us too much, if we're honest. But, yeah, it might. And as far as that goes, I think, I think that's all I need, isn't it? I just need nether war and a blaze rod. I think. I can't remember exactly how you make the fermented eye. Maybe I should check that. Yeah, I'm going to go check that. Right, the fermented eye is the, sp the spider eye, obviously, the brown mushroom, and sugar was the missing ingredient. Uh, I also need um, sugar cane for a book if I can get... Um, the enchantment table so we'll head towards this conveniently placed reeds uh, over here grab some of that and then probably just head out of the jungle if I can't find any chickens I'm not seeing any around 
Oh, we're already in a swamp. Okay, great. And we will need to work on inventory management. Um, this is probably some things we can just sort of throw down. Well, that can combine with that. And that's those sorted. Now, that will be all I need. Yeah, that's all I need. Um, okay, so... I can't mine any obsidian in the nether, so if I want to grab that, I would have to grab that now, while I'm on the outside. I'm good for food. Um, but I'm also thinking, you know, just sort of, fuck it, it'll be fine. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I get screwed over, trapped in a nether fortress, and get, you know, forced to die on a way out? Ha! <laughs> I doubt that would happen again. Uh, so if we just pick a spot that we wish to nether in, then we shall head our way in. But I'm not seeing one. Uh, yeah, this will work. I don't really want to be in a place where when I come back out, I could just sort of get piled. So probably, okay, that's a blessing in disguise. More obsidian mining, woo! Yeah, woo! Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get myself another 10 more of these then. I will pause it until it comes back. Right, I believe this is the last one then. Uh, this was another ten, which is our escape if things are, oh, which is our escape if things go horribly wrong while we're in the Nether. Um, of course, I have just lost that, so let's try that again. Uh, I guess we'll do that and mine this one off, um, and then we'll we'll write down our coordinates sort of as we go in, just in case things go wrong, and then when we're on the other side, in case things go wrong. And that should be 24. Yeah, okay, we've got 24. So that's an enchantment table and two portals. So if we set one up here, we just grab these coordinates here, and that's where the portal is. So that's just uh, if I have to find my way out the other side. And I need to get back to the chest I'm going to have to put down. Um, I can now find it. I always get worried that I'm going to misplace on these. Because obviously it's a very annoying thing to misplace. Purely because of how long it takes to mine back up. Right, so there's our economy portal. We will put down a crafting table so that we can make ourselves a chest and just throw some excess things in here which we won't need while we're in there. Uh, grab all that, that, we won't need that, probably all those or that. We might need the iron, I'll keep it on me, we we'll might need the wood get rid of those just so that we've got space for for things while we're in there okay and then we've got the coordinates of that written down should we need that obviously the bed we probably don't want to take into the nether just in case I have a complete derp then we'll make ourselves a flint and steel like this and go in Okay, so let's see how our nether is. Okay, um, okay, that was promising. Good start. Um, okay, it doesn't look like quite as safe a one as I had before, but we can just secure off the back of this. 
just so that we don't have the problems of falling down one of the sides. We can also barricade that in a bit, so that's a bit safer there. Um, can we cover up some of that lava as well? And that should be mostly safe. So now we've just got to deal with nether lag for a bit while things desperately try to load. And while we do that, we should. Oh, don't. Hi. Um. Oh, where is that? Right, well, what we'll do then is we'll hide in this bit. Uh, I don't think things can see me through this, so. Um, while we're waiting for nether lag to disappear, we'll just take down these coordinates. Okay, so when we get screwed over, we know where we'll be heading back to. Let's see if we can find a fortress. Now, it'd be nice if we didn't have to go too far. Is that one? That was convenient. Okay, this is already looking like it's going to go better. And there's blaze straight away, maybe not. And lava's just loading there. Right, we want to have a passage through. Probably a slightly safer one than what I was going for there. And hopefully we don't use the diamond pickaxe up. I can see that happening. Um, and then obviously if we can get back to here, it'll be pretty clear where we're going. Okay, maybe not, but it should be. Let's just run forward from there. Uh, we don't actually have all that much cobble, because I did get rid of quite a few bits. So if we just block that off and we'll throw cobble there. Try and find my way back that way. Um, okay, I'm not liking this at all. What can I do though? Right, I need to try and get into that fortress. There's a hmm. The wither skeleton up there. I don't know if they're stupid enough to jump down. I think I'm gonna have to go up the pillar though. So if we just do that, just so that we're safe, throw a torch. Uh, I don't. I assume I want to staircase this. Don't really know the dimensions of these. Though, what have I got to work with? That's about it. Okay. Uh, if we head back around there, uh, obviously I'm aware I'm going. To, I mean, I already saw. Uh, blaze I already saw a wither skeleton so I know how badly this can go and I'm certainly hearing things now okay there's the top so I want to go this way now will that jump down No, it doesn't have to. Great. Shit. And that one does jump down, but it can't get through, which is great. We'll block that off. We have got that ghast to deal with then. Oh, shit. Okay, and we're half HP. So we'll just sit here for a bit. Um, I don't know how safe I am. It doesn't feel very safe. But, I don't know. Oh no, then we can't get out. Hmm. Okay, well we, we do want to heal up before we move either way. I say moving. Nope. Ah. Uh. Um, okay, I don't want that gas to be there. We are nicely healed now, though. There's more with the skeletons everywhere. And they can path around. 
and I'm withered again, so we shall try a heal again. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm guessing not well. Um, I swear there wasn't this many things on any other nether portal I go to, though. I do get a bit unlucky, I swear. Can we take that guy out? I think I hit him. Oh, there's two. Oh, we're missing. We don't have the arrows for this. I mean, we got nine. Oh, I don't think I can hit that. Oh, I got him. Oh, I missed. I don't have the arrows to miss. Oh, I got six left. Oh, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Can't miss that. No, I know there is another one. I mean, they don't really pathfind, they just sort of shoot in your direction, so I can't get it closer to me to be able to attack it. Of course, there it is. Ah, oh, there's another one again. Right. Do we want to stay underneath or do we go for a mad dash? <coughs> There's nothing that way. Go for a mad dash. Lag. More lag. More lag. Okay. Yeah, I, I realised that was a stupid idea shortly as I was doing it, but uh, I was already running then. Um, I don't really know what I should have done there. Because, like, I didn't feel like I could really move. Um, and then there were a lot of wither skeletons everywhere. But I'm guessing that what I should have done wasn't that. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm thinking then, just on reflection, because I'm not going to start a new life on this one, I'll start on the next one. That uh probably should have dug through the wall the whole way. But that wouldn't have got me too far either. I really don't know how I could have done that, because there were too many things around. And I guess running away, coming back, but... I don't know. Oh well. Um, yeah, if... yeah. You have died. Game over, man. Game over. Right, well that's my fourth death. Um, it'll be life number five at the beginning of next episode. Until then, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.